Evernote had this one feature that Notion never had and that annoyed the hell out of me, so I built it. I was struggling to stay organized with Notion because I didn't have the tagging system. Tag it. Pages are not connected with a single set of tags. You need to create tags for different databases, but you can't create a tag for every single page. But you actually can. And I'll show you how to do that in the next few minutes. Ignore the dramatic lighting, I move it a bit and I realize that I'm kind of looking like I'm going to give you a story about my dark past and how my parents were cute when I was a kid. But that is not the case. If you open up my Notion, you'll see that this is what my current global tags look like. I decided to name them topics, but you can name them however you like, however you like. So here you can see the list of topics that I have and all of them have different subtopics and I can go into those subtopics as subtopics and go crazy with whatever organization I want to have. And I'll teach you how to do exactly that. First of all, let's create a new database. Right, this is going to be a table and we're going to create to name this a new database. Perfect. This is the first checkpoint. First of all, we need a, uh, we need a database, we created a database, we created, we named it in some way, we used the first column to give us a tag name and we in some way need to implement the parent tags and the child tags. If you look at the topics database, what we see here is this hierarchy. Once you make this hierarchy of tags, you'll be able to organize yourself much better. To make those tags powerful, we'll make them into parent tags and then child tags, because you can create this organized system of what sits where, and then connect it to any other piece of content that you want. And by using that, you'll be able to unite all of your Notion stuff into one single place, and that is pretty awesome. Okay, so we'll need some sort of a parent tag and some sort of a child tag. We'll create both of those using one thing, and that is a relation. Okay, so let's let's delete those. Those were just the temporary properties, and we will create them from scratch by using a relation. Cool. Now the funny thing about this relation is we're not going to link a different database. We're linking the same database. So we will linking the global tax database, and we're using separate directions. What does that mean is that we're going to have two different fields. One is for the related stuff and, and one is for the stuff related to this one. Sounds weird, but let me show you how it works. So this would be parent tag uh, and you limit it to one. Okay, so we have the parent tag field and if I just name this, let's say culture, this one would be YouTube and it, that's, this would be challenges. Because let's face it, YouTube is all about challenges. I'm already filming a challenge because everyone should be filming a challenge right now on YouTube. If you want to grow on YouTube, YouTube Grow Tips, hashtag YouTube Grow Tips. You're slowly descending into madness. Do challenges. Easy. Okay, so right now, because we created this relation, we can click here and we can pick one of those to be the parent tag. And right now I picked YouTube. The YouTube is the parent tag and you can see here this as being related global tag which doesn't mean anything, but this is simply the child tags. Simple. So we have the parent tag and the child tags. The, the parent tag is limited to one. So here, if I want to put the challenges in, it doesn't work because it didn't configure properly. How cool is that? We'll fix it. So we, we, click, uh, we, we should edit the property of the parent tag to have one page limit and the child tags, we'll edit this one and remove the limit. We want to have infinite child tags, but one parent tag. So in this case, we can create the challenges here and we can create YouTube here again and you'll see that ch the child tags of challenges are culture and YouTube and the YouTube child tags are challenges and culture and every everything has a parent tag. If I pick culture and I switch the parent tag to something else, it would switch. It, you, you won't get a second parent tag. That wouldn't make sense in our specific setup. So yeah. And we'll make this the boss tag which doesn't have any parent tags because the boss tag is the boss of all tags. Yeah. I think that pretty much sums it up. And child tags will happen. Cool. All right. This is a good start, but you need to use one extra feature of Notion to make this look pretty. We go to layout and we remove the vertical lines. Those are not great. And we remove the column wrapping. That would make things prettier once we add a bunch of more things. 
Next we go to sub items. This is something really new. When you add sub items, it lets you add those arrows here, which allow you to expand those and show the, the child tags in this new view, instead of looking at them like this, because this is not very clear. Once we pick the property of child tags and set it everywhere, you can see we have the boss tag. Underneath we have the util tag and then we have the culture tag. And now we can add other ones whenever, wherever you want. Let's say here we want to add boss number two. We have another boss tag. We can expand that and add something underneath that. And that could be like YouTube copycat software Vimeo. Cool. Okay, so right now we have we have this nesting of tags, which is perfect. And this is most of what we need. We can hide this one because we don't care about it anymore. We can see it already here. And if you if you open those up and if you add uh, if you add different icons to them, you can see that this starts to become really useful really quickly. Now the next question is how do you connect this to something else? The trick is you need to keep everything in a database. So instead of having scattered nodes, you can see that everything here, everything I have here is in different databases. All of those things are different databases. So all of my pages belong to a database. By doing that, I can ensure I can create a related property and connect the tags to the whatever database I have. I'll give you an example. Let's create an, uh, a new database and call this one random nodes. Yeah, let's make it a gallery. Galleries are cool. We create a new database for this one and we currently have a bunch of different random nodes. This is great, but those nodes do not have tags because we already created our day. Like of course they do. They, they have tags. Obviously they have tags. They don't have global tags. So let's replace those local tags that are kind of boring with our global tags. To do that, we create a relation. We add our global, global tags. We don't need a limit here. Maybe you want to limit you. Maybe you want to tag every single page with one tag. In my case, I prefer not having that limit. They make me limitless. And you can choose, do you want this to be visible on the global tags? I suggest you turn this on. If you turn this on, you can have an, a nodes property on the global tags and you ha can have a tax property here. So right now we have a tax property here. Once I have this property, I can add any one of the tags that I already created and I can see them in the list here. To make this even clearer, in this specific view, I can go to the properties and turn them on. And now you can see the different random nodes I have, I uh, have different tags and you can see that I can see the different tags on the bottom and that effectively connected my random nodes with my tags. You can do this process with any one of your pages. To summarize, step number one is to create a global tax database. You create the database and you create one relation property to it to create those child tags. Then from the menu, you, you use the relation property to make them into sub items. And this creates this nice drop down menus. Once you have that, you move each and every one of your nodes to, to some database, if it's not already in the database, and then you go to that database and add a relation to your global tax database. Once you have that, you can now tag every one of your nodes with your global tax. And not only that, all of your global tax are neatly organized in this cool table. Neat. Pretty cool. And we did this pretty fast. I hope I haven't been counting the time and after the edit, everything will get jumbled and some stuff will be faster. It was very fast, okay? Yeah, no. Cool. That was it for this one, but if you want to watch more about Notion, watch this one to learn how to set up recurring tasks. And combining both, like, it's going to be a mind explosion of glorious awesomeness that is going to make all of your Notion organization absolutely perfect. Click here.